All right, lawn mowing complete. And as a result, we now have a third option here on our menu. We have items. Uh, we only have mystery items. I did pick up four blink weeds, and it draws foes that rely on sight. And I did pick up two potent posies, which draws foes that rely on smell. Now, we do have a new party member with us, which is, uh, well, Misa here, of course. Now, in order to try to set her NPC behavior, first you have to hit select so that you can become her. You can see I'm moving her around now. And then you can go into the menu, go into the status screen, uh, set her NPC behavior, and I'm going to want her to move in a little bit more and use weapons. Yes. Because at this early stage, she doesn't really have uh, that much magic to use. In terms of her status though, she's already level 5. She's got a ton of intelligence compared to us in mind. I believe her power is roughly equivalent to where ours was and her defense is rather high. Her agility is high as well and she's actually got points in, um, in one of the moving things over there and three points in the staff. As opposed to Loki's. Yeah, jeez. Not, not even close. However, I am not a fan of all the other party members, so I'm pretty much going to be sticking to Loki this entire time. And now we are free to move on, and I can go over the battle system a little bit more. As you can see, uh, well, there's a giant bar underneath uh, all Loki's stats there. That is his death blow meter, death blow gauge, uh, whatever you want to call it. When that fills up, you can do a special attack by holding down the attack button. Let's see if I can finish this guy off here. You saw a combo there. And that was the last guy on screen. And the last guy on screen is the one that has a chance to drop a treasure chest. And if you wait long enough, they respawn. So let's take those guys out again. There's another combo. You can see my death blow gauge is now full. So let's use a special attack here. Just hold it down until he glows constantly like that, and then boom! Nah, still not enough to take out the rabbi, unfortunately. These are rabbites. Uh, well, they're always the first enemy in mana games, as far as I can tell. Let's take them out. And there we go, treasure chest. Pick that up, and we get round seeds out of that. Round seeds are just plant seeds, and we'll go over planting a little bit later. We got more rabbites to take on now. Now, as you can see, the AI uh, is not really doing that much. And Loki's sword has just leveled up. Hooray! Now, he will uh, start doing more damage with the sword, thanks to that. And we get a gumdrop, the basic healing item of the game that heals 30 HP. Now, there isn't that much to do here on the path to topple. Now, where are some more of those rabbis? I might as well finish them off while I'm here. Damn it, how dare you counter me while you're asleep? Uh, you could take this opportunity to level up if you want, since I was the last one. Another treasure chest with animal meat. Now, that is a rather special item. Let's take a look at that. That is meat items. It helps you fight a foe. And this will help you fight fauna foes, of course. Animals, regular basic animals. Uh, in terms of the seeds that we have, it just says a plant seed on the round seeds. There's not much information there. And then, of course, the recovery item where we found the gun drop. It is 30, isn't it? Yes, it is definitely 30. Let's get out of that menu. And now, if we go up here, we can find another treasure chest, slam it on the ground, and it opens, and we get an angel grail, which is very similar to a phoenix down or a life potion. Uh, it'll revive a fallen comrade. Now, where's that last one? I believe it is over here. There it is. I woke up. Uh, you might have seen that the screen kind of changed here. It looks like that is becoming closer to night. Uh, this game does have a day and night cycle. Um, no, I'm not going to fight him again. Uh, this game does have a day and night cycle. Uh, and a lot of the... Oh, did you see that? 
There we can get a wood geode! Very, very important uh, to get that as early as you can. Uh, the day and night cycle, there are events that can only be done, people you can only talk to during the day or during the night, so uh, try to keep that in mind, especially when we start getting to towns. Uh, here we do have a cannon, but it seems to be broken. Uh, the cannons do make a return. In this game, they add that in. It's not in the original Final Fantasy Adventure. I believe there was a chocobo uh, kind of stable type place here instead of the cannon. Um, of course, that being from Final Fantasy. They have replaced it with the, the mana can to make it more mana-ish. So let's grab more gumdrops. And unfortunately, I cannot jump down there and get the other sparkly down there. Uh, the wood geode. Speaking of items, let's see. I believe it is a. In other items, it is. Event items, wood geode. A stone encasing a wood spirit. So, apparently, there are spirits here. Now, I, uh, because this is an action RPG, and especially with these freaking rabbites, I'm not going to be cutting out a lot of the battles. Not nearly as much as I was doing in other of my last plays. For instance, the Final Fantasy games. Just die. Whatever. No treasure chest. Okay. And if we head up here, we have made it to the town of Topol during the day. That is important. Thank you for taking me so far. Well then, sure, anytime. Nah, she couldn't be. Oh, I'm sure she is. Now, there is quite a few things here that we can do in the town of Topol, but the first thing that you're going to want to do is try to leave Topol, which would be here. And Nicolo stops us. Of course, you guys might remember Nicolo from the later games. Once again, I'm not sure if I love him or hate him. I go back and forth. The kid I rescued. Great timing. Got just the thing for your adventure. I specialize in items catered to the individual needs of your trip. And where will you be heading? I have two choices here, none of them really changes anything. I'm here to avenge my parents. Oh, then it's a lucky day for both of us. This Popoy's notebook is perfect for you. On your adventure, Popoy's notebook will automatically record maps and monsters, and even your friends. And it's only 10 lucre, the game's money. Why not pick one up? Sure, why not? Thank you much. You're quite the shopper. Well, I'll see you later. And we have gotten Popoy's notebook, which is now an entry on our ring of a menu. Here it is. Now, this has four main options here. You have the map, and here it'll show us that we're in Topple Village, as if I really need to know that. It'll also show all the monsters that I have fought. Unfortunately, uh, for some reason, it only shows Rabbi here. I believe how many of them that I have killed. Uh, they have an HP of 20, and it shows what's good against them, what they're weak against, um, their HP, how many I've defeated, how they can sense you, what kind of type they are. There's a ton of information here. Just a ton of information, but I'll go over that when it's a little bit more relevant. Uh, rabbites mean nothing. And for some reason, the Chobin Hood that we fought earlier is not listed here. Neither is the Jackal. I don't know why those things aren't listed, but there are 119 monsters that we can find. Hopefully, I will find all of them. Now, the most important thing that's in Popo's note, um, for, it, for purposes of this Let's Play, is probably going to be the memo field here. I will do my best to fill this out. Uh, we already have the mana statues, uh, which I have explained here. Uh, you get that from speaking to Amanda in the in the slave quarters, I guess you could say. That's, of course, assuming that you played as the hero. If you played as the heroine, uh, you will be learning that from somebody else. Uh, the opening is different from both characters. Uh, then we also have learned how to cut grass. Thank you. If you have a slash weapon like a sword, you can cut grass. And then you can show all the amigos you have. Por que no tengo amigos? Por que? Unfortunately, because I'm not going to try to ask people with a Game Boy Advance and a Link Cable to buy this game to play it with me, I'll probably not have very many amigos. Yes, there's lots of 
they have to cut the grass to find it. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of cutting grass, and uh, if I have to, I'll do all that off screen. There's really no point in me trying to do that. What news? The cave to Wendell have been sealed. See, so the master of Inked Hall did it. Now I can go see my daughter in Wendell. However, that is, that is important, I should say. Um, but that's not the most important thing here. The most important thing I would say is this little boy right here. Crap is the mostest, deepestest believer in town. What is he believing? Well, you know, uh, he says that. Uh, never mind. Now, you don't technically have to talk to him out here, but it is funny to try. Uh, his grandpa lives in here, so let's go in there. You're a heretic? You gotta be kidding me. What are you on about, old man? You are a heretic. If you worship the mana goddess, that's what I've heard. What are you doing sneaking in here like that? You won't find anything, anything at all. Go ahead, check the whole place. We don't believe in the mana goddess. You can leave now. And as we all know, because this is a Japanese RPG, every rumor is true. So, uh, spoiler alert, the man of goddess probably is real. So, let's explore everything here. We saw a picture, nothing unusual. Nothing at all obvious mana paraphernalia. Uh, what? Not that it, that's really important, just we need to leave. And there's the little boy that we had talked to earlier. Nothing. I already know. Go ahead, ask. You're from the realm. You've come to arrest us, mana goddess followers. I don't understand why everybody says we're from the realm. Did you see what the realm soldiers looked like? I looked nothing like them. What nonsense are you babbling about? Don't bother the nice soldier. Why does he think I'm a soldier? They, did you see their outfit? Oh, well, we don't believe in that mana goddess superstition. No, I'm not going to keep living a lie. How old are you, kid? I believe in the goddess, and if that's not okay with you, then you can go right ahead and kill me. What the hell, six-year-old? Please forgive the boy his childish nonsense. Please overlook it. So kill me already. Go ahead, I dare ya. Hurry up and get to it. This is one creepy six-year-old. Oh, sweet mother of men, I went down for. It's all over. Why all of a sudden does Loki not want to speak? Loki, you can talk. Seriously, Loki, you can talk. Could it be that you're not a realm soldier? No. Why? Why? Why am I not speaking? Just stare at each other, then, why don't you? I thought you weren't of Dark Lords. Oh, my. I guess you're not. Well, then, why don't you come on inside? And we can head inside. And I guess just have the kid stare creepily at my torso. You may already know this, but Dark Lord is quit making excuses. It, it's not that. It's just that Dark Lord has been rounding up mana believers with his heretic hunters. Topple Village has the most believers out of anywhere. Because of that, we are a mocked people. It's a scary story. So tell me. Tell you, tell you what? How can I defeat Dark Lord? Defeat Dark Lord? You can't be serious. You face him alone. You're gonna take out Dark Lord. Awesome. I've got issues with him too.